What's going on guys? Today is another Will It Start video on the Mac B model. I don't remember what model it was guys. The 60s series Mac, 1960s model Mac that was in the video yesterday. Um, so Austin went ahead and got a lot of our Will It Start stuff loaded up. Our generator, which I don't know why we really need that, but we'll probably bring it anyways. Um, some batteries, of course, some tools, and things like that. He's over there greasing out the front of his truck right now. Trying to help the steering, but it's not going to help. Sorry, Austin. So, we're going to get this stuff loaded up and grab some food and head out there and see if we can get this old Mac fired up. Well, guys, our wheel of start activities got canceled because of the rain. So, we're back here at the shop. We're going to mess with the Air Force truck, as you guys probably seen in the thumbnail. Don't forget, go to brucelandshop.com, grab your hats and all your other merch on the website, the air fresheners with amber on it, and you can get entered to win the Oscar Mayer wiener truck. You only have about 24 hours left to enter, so go over there and grab the stuff. So let's jump right into the Air Force truck. Um, so we've got some dry shaft pieces from Bobo we picked up yesterday. We may go grab those out of the truck and see what we can make out of this dry shaft that's already in here. Um, and we're going to get the cab folded forward some more and get the radiator pulled out of it because we know the radiator has a problem and it needs to get rebuilt and stuff. So I'm like kind of like halfway tempted to get this Air Force truck running and done and get it kind of semi fixed up. We may not fix the AC and stuff, um, but get it fixed up, working in a full operating condition. And we may end up just giving this one away. Don't know yet. Comment and let me know. What do you think? Should we just give the Air Force truck away and go get a conventional semi truck? <clears throat> I think give it away. Let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> so comment down below, guys. Let us know. We're gonna get this cab folded forward and uh, see if we get the radiator snatched out of it. What are you doing there, Bruce? All right, guys. So basically, we've already got a little bit. Oh, that's, that's hot. <laughs> a little bit of a head start on pulling this radiator out of the truck. Come on now. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and remove the air cleaner on it. We've removed the intake pipe because you remember we've got to change the intercooler boot on the front of that turbo there. So we've got to pull this off, off anyways and um, go ahead and get it out of the way before we get too carried away. So let's get this bolt right here loose. And uh, continue getting the radiator out of here. Now I should be able to see the turb steam. Oh, I see a turbo. I do too. <sighs> Brother, I might need a pair of pliers. You got my pair of pliers? <sighs> that works. <laughs> Probably just dented it up good, but. All right, so remember when we were talking to Bus Grease the Garage about, um, the jake brakes weren't working well i found out where the pieces are unplugged but there's a couple wires i gotta look up and do some research on so now that that's out of the way we can see the turb ski austin come over here and show these people on the turbo right there let me shed some light on this situation looks good there's no like shaft plate or anything it spins freely so turbo looks like it's in good shape i did pull this upper radiator hose off you can see where that thing is just rotten completely and that's probably where one of our major water leaks was coming from on our way home can they see it yeah they can there you go it. so it's going to continue getting this radiator out of here guys and we may go ahead and straight pipe this thing while we're here so let's see what we can get done
All right, guys, so underneath the truck, I've got these two main huge bolts to hold the bottom of the radiator. Ooh, those itch in place. Um, but I'm pretty positive this thing's still full of water. Nasty water. So, I almost wonder if we should roll it out the door. It's probably empty. No, it's not. It's dripping already. Look. We're about to find. Oh, yeah, it's full. <laughs> yeah, let's tighten these back up. Let's hurry up and roll it out the door. We've got this thing rolled out door as far as it could, but the cab hits the door. So, um, see if I can pry this hose off of it. We're going to be replacing this hose anyway, so we're not too worried about it. Oh, yeah, it's full of, full of creek water, actually. Nasty. All right, so I'm gonna see if I can try to push this thing. Oh, I guess there really isn't much trying needed. <laughs> that came out pretty easy. guys we're gonna go ahead and do is pull the fan off of it because we're gonna be working on it while we're waiting on the radio to get fixed and who knows how long that's gonna take. Um, so we're gonna pull the fan blade off of it so we can still start the truck up without the fan spinning around and whacking something off. One of our limbs off for that matter. There we have it guys, we've got the radiator out of the Air Force truck and along with the fan shroud and the fan. Um, the reason I pulled the fan out, like I just said, was so that we could um, fold this back and work on it because I honestly have no clue how long it's gonna take to get this radiator fixed. So with that being said, we know it needs to be fixed. So I'm gonna show you guys the other issues we found. You know on the bottom down here, I didn't really get to show very many people when it broke when we were on the road, but um, there's actually a hole down here in the bottom. You see where we put tons, and I mean tons, of silicone around it um, to try to dampen the leak. Let me see if I can peel some of this off. And we put some like stop, uh, like the stop leak stuff, or like the it's like a mushy weld material, or mushy like I don't know, some kind of a weld stuff that's like in a little tube. And we fixed it, but it it still leaked a little bit. But the main leak we had no idea about was up top here. And you can see where the the uh, neck of it here is just completely rotted, rusted away. And these tanks, I thought would be like not steel, I thought they'd be copper, but they must be steel. I don't know, we need to get a magnet and check, but um, 
they're just completely rusted out or rotted or whatever. So let me do this. There's a couple radiator repair shops here in Tampa, Florida. I'm gonna put this in the back of my truck. And tomorrow I'm probably gonna run down to Tampa and see if we can get someone to uh, repair this, pressure test it, make sure it's good to go. Um, you can see right here where someone's repaired it before, where they got a nick down in there. Um, so yeah, we got the radiator out of it. We're gonna push the truck back now, kind of regather some stuff, see what else we can do today. If not, tomorrow. We'll take this down to Tampa, see if we can get, figure out what it's gonna take to get it fixed. And we may straight pipe it tomorrow, because it will run without the radiator in it. We're just not gonna run it for very long, but I'm gonna try to get a couple more things. While we're in Tampa, I'm gonna pick up our pieces of metal we need to uh, strengthen the inside of that frame. So we'll knock out two birds and one stone. All right guys, so that's a wrap for today's video. Tomorrow we're gonna go get the radiator checked out. Like I said, drop off Tampa to get it repaired. Um, we'll be back with getting some clamps to hold the, we're actually gonna use the Freightliner's old chrome stack right here, that six inch bull hauler style stack. Um, we're gonna go, to, may have to go to the chrome shop or may have to go somewhere in Tampa to get some chrome clamps to hold the stack over here on the factory stack mount that's on the International. Um, at least get it bolted up. That may not be the permanent solution, but we wanna get that put on there. So we have a straight pipe, freaking two stroke Detroit. <laughs> So we're gonna get this stuff loaded up tonight and tomorrow we're gonna do that. I'm try I tried to get out and do the will it start video like you guys seen the video in the beginning of the title on the Mac, but the rain and weather isn't cooperating with us for literally the rest of the week. So if we can get out there and do that tomorrow's video, we will. We're posting every day in the month of June, guys. So make sure you tune into every video. It's gonna be something different every day. We're throwing in the Air Force truck project here and there as we're getting parts for it. Go to brucesshop.com, grab your new <laughs> grab your yeah that's because it's a working man's hat that's why grab your blue collar trucking co hat t-shirts the air freshers the ambron all that good stuff make sure you smash the like button drop a comment down below and subscribe guys we'll catch you later peace and don't forget to grab your merch on the website because you've got 24 hours from right now to get entered to win entered in to win the one and only ever produced wienermobile this is one of one guys never been produced never <laughs> yeah just go get entered to win guys I can see it strapped to your flatbed trailer towing it down the road or even your child playing in it growing up and making memories guys so get entered to win go make some purchases on the website and uh who knows what we're gonna give away next it's definitely gonna be something big